In physics, the proton-to-electron mass ratio, mu or beta, is simply the rest mass of the proton divided by that of the electron. Because this is a ratio of like dimension physical quantity, it is a dimensionless quantity, a function of the dimensionless physical constants and has numerical value independent of the system of units, namely, mu equals mp, mu equals 7003183615267389000836.15267389. The number enclosed in parentheses is the measurement uncertainty on the last two digits. The value of mu is known to about 0.4 parts per billion. Mass of proton mass of electron fine structure constant mu on hydrogen proton radius Rydberg constant this equation defines the proton to electron mass ratio and relates six fundamental physical constants. Discussion mu is an important fundamental physical constant because Nearly all of science deals with baryonic matter and how the fundamental interactions affect such matter. Baryonic matter consists of quarks and particles made from quarks, like protons and neutrons. Free neutrons have a half-life of 613.9 seconds. Electrons and protons appear to be stable, to the best of current knowledge. The proton is the most important baryon, while the electron is the most important lepton. Mu and the fine structure constant alpha are the two dimensionless quantities emerging in elementary physics, and two of the three dimensionless quantities discussed in Barrow. The proton mass mp is composed primarily of gluons, and not of the quarks making up the proton. Hence mp, and therefore the ratio, mu, are easily measurable consequences of the strong force. In fact, in the chiral limit, mp is proportional to the QCD energy scale, lambda QCD. At a given energy scale, the strong coupling constant alpha s is related to the QCD scale as where beta 0 equals minus 11 plus 2 n, 3, with n being the number of flavors of quarks. Does mu vary over time? Astrophysicists have tried to find evidence that mu has changed over the history of the universe. One interesting cause of such change would be change over time in the strength of the strong force. Astronomical searches for time-varying mu have typically examined the Lyman series and Werner transitions of molecular hydrogen which Given a sufficiently large redshift, occur in the optical region and so can be observed with ground-based spectrographs. If mu were to change, then the change in the wavelength lambda i of each rest frame wavelength can be parameterized as where delta mu, mu is the proportional change in mu and ki is a constant which must be calculated within a theoretical framework. Reinhold et al. reported a potential for standard deviation variation in mu by analyzing the molecular hydrogen absorption spectra of quasars Q0405-443 and Q0347-373. They found that delta mu, mu equals times 10 minus 5. King et al. reanalyzed the spectral data of Reinhold et al and collected new data on another quasar, Q0528-250. They estimated that delta mu, mu equals times 10 minus 6, different from the estimates of Reinhold al. Murphy al. used the inversion transition of ammonia to conclude that, delta mu, mu, less than 1.8 times 10 minus 6 at redshift z equals 0.68. Bagnite al used methanol transitions in the spiral lens galaxy PKS 1830-211 to find equals times 10 minus 7 at Z equals 0.89, a stringent limit at this redshift. Note that any comparison between values of delta mu, mu at substantially different redshifts will need a particular model to govern the evolution of delta mu, mu. That is, results consistent with zero change at lower redshifts do not rule out significant change at higher redshifts.